Hey there, welcome back. So, um, here we are, we're getting ready to do the invasion of Norway here, and, um, it says that the southern landings are isolated and difficult to reach objectives, whereas the northern landings have extreme mountainous terrain. I honestly don't know which one's better. Um, uh, so if you've ever played Panzer Corps 1, or even Panzer General, you'll know that the southern landings, of course, occur right here. And um, this little inlet is, like, littered with um, um, coastal batteries. But you'll have, like, a little destroyer or whatever that will help you. And um, you basically land on this portion here. Or you land over on this side here. And your one of your key objectives, of course, is Oslo, which I believe is here. And then you have other cities here. Um, and so um, I think, you know, obviously, if you do the southern landings, you're, you're going to have to do exactly that. You'll have to take these southern spots and, and I think even a few more objectives down this way. Now, the, uh, the northern... If I remember, um, it's like most of the time when you do Norway, it's just one mission. You you land here in the south, and then you have to race up north. I don't know how far north, but uh, you get, I don't know, maybe to here, I think is where you end up, is right up around in here. And then, of course, Narvik is way the bloody up there. So I don't know if when it says Norway north, if we're trying to take Narvik or... Maybe they just drew a line right in between and you just got the two different ends. Um, so clearly it's um, an interesting situation. I'm tempted to do south because I'm more familiar with that. But there's a part... Yeah, let's just do south. Oh, oh look, I get to click on it and it'll show me. So south is exactly the areas I was talking about. And if we do north... Yeah, so we're going to be landing up here. Uh, interesting. Let's try south. I think the one thing is we're going to now have access to paratroopers. So that's going to burn up some of our prestige. And I'm going to have to spend a lot just to heal my troops. And if you don't want to lose experience points, you're going to have to use the elite replacements. Ah, hey, General. Here we go. Are. I was talking to my friend Nikolaus. We have just a new assignment for you. High Command has given the go-ahead for Operation Resolute. And I want you to take a leading part in this Norwegian excursion. Your main target is the capture of Oslo. And heavy cruiser Blücher has been assigned to escort your landing party to the capital. Simultaneously, you will need to secure major ports along the coast from here to here. Keeping them under our control will go a long way to keeping the British and French out of Norway, and thus preserving our enforcement of Norwegian neutrality. To aid you, we've mobilized additional Falschemjagd. Quite useful for fighting in the mountainous terrain. Infantry will be far more useful than your panzers in this battle. So, I recommend you temporarily put your tanks into reserve for this battle. Now, I know General Falcon Horse plan might seem a little, uh, polite on specifics. If you ask me, the plan looks like it was originally some kind of vacation trip. Even so, it's your responsibility to get the job done now. I have every confidence in your ability. Interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hit end briefing. To clear room for different troops, use move to reserve. So we got Sebastian Lang. Double move. Unit gets two move actions per turn without increasing the number of movement points. Interesting. Who would we want to give that to? Oh, 
I wonder if you can give that to a bummer. But um, I think it would be extremely helpful. On a tank. And we're, I'm going to think about that for a little bit. Okay, so first things first, let's get our elite replacements. And I know I may ruin my chance to upgrade or whatever, but I'm a person who always does elite if I can, because that's how your troops get better. If you keep doing green replacements, you're never going to get better. And look at that, I'm down to 705. 672. Whew. All right. So I'm checking for upgrades here. And so far I'm not... Well, here, let's just do purchase. Maybe we can see upgrades that way. Okay, so you can see the new ones. They, they're really nice. Well done. So the transport's new. So you can go from the Opal Blitz up to the SD KFZ. Um, clearly this is a big upgrade. And then the Fosham Jager and the Geiber Jager. These guys are, like if you compare them to the Wear Infantry, you can see that the uh, the Wear Infantry has a better soft attack. And it's probably Ver. Um, but I believe the Geiber Jager, there it is, Alpine. Plus four attack and defense in hills and mountains. So they're really good at hills and mountain battle. Um, beyond that, they don't really give you much else. So, I mean, you could arguably buy a mountain unit and use it in mountain missions and then put these guys on reserve. Um, I think what's hard about this is it's not like you have a ton of prestige to go around. You buy this guy for 160, you buy that, I mean, that's 310. Let's look at the tanks. Oh, crap. So there is an upgrade here. So you got the tank Panzer IV-E available. Um, and the IV-E, of course, compared to the 38 TA is uh, way better against soft targets. Um, and then, of course, this is the uh, captured unit. Uh, the Jedi, Jedi Vajawi. Vajawi. I don't even want to probably pronounce it. The 7 TP, it's not a very good tank. Um, so who cares? But we only have one point in the pool, and you need 10 to be able to buy this guy. So um, we do have a tank upgrade. So there's our prestige could get blown just doing upgrades. Um, Anti-air, this is a new unit, but I don't think we care because this is the elite one we want. Artillery, no difference. Um, for us there, fighters, bombers, and bombers. And there you can see the JU-88 is now officially and formally available. Uh, we had it for, I guess, one mission before it became officially available. So, okay, good news is... Um, all of our units are reinforced and there's not that many new upgrades to purchase. The bad news is, is we're going to have to put some stuff in reserve because that's the whole. So like this little uh, bridge unit, I'm definitely putting him in reserve. So now I have 43 out of 46 core slots. So I think what this game's encouraging me to do is it's encouraging me, for example, to maybe put this where very infantry, uh, you know, the standard infantry and just put it in reserve and then buy an Alpine in infantry. Which, of course, is very helpful if you were having to go into the Alpine a lot. Um, I mean, I have to go and do Lillehammer here, but Lillehammer is not that far north. And um, Bergen here, it looks like I need some units to take that. Um, it looks like I'm going to need some very strong units to take that. But um, beyond that, and they said that you don't really need tanks, but I disagree. The tanks can really help here. And Christiansen and Stavanger. Um, I found tanks to be very helpful in all those situations. So, do I need four tanks? Maybe not. Um, 
but it's not that undoable. Um, so I have three slots. I definitely like the tactical bomber. I actually like the fact that I made this guy blue. Um, I'm going to do the same with this one. And the reason I'm saying that is because when we were playing the game, it was just really hard to um, sometimes know which one was the fighter and which one wasn't. And just that blue tinge helped. Um, I think I want to buy a Fossum Yager. And he costs exactly three. And I would not want the transport. Yeah, because with the transport, he would be four slots. But if I don't do the transport, it's three. And um, I think these are good every mission. And normally I like to have at least two of them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So I'm going to add him to the basket. Let's do that. So that's 160 and three slots. Um, yeah, let's purchase that. Now, as far as the tanks go, we could try to upgrade them to the Panzer IV-E. It's going to cost 70 each. Seven times four is 280. Um, what I'm oh, interesting. This is a prototype. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to upgrade all of them anyways. It would just be one. Maybe two if I'm not willing to have... So yeah, I'll upgrade one of them to the prototype. And, for example, you see there now I'm down to ten. So I could upgrade a second one, but if I do, uh, this prototype won't have any replacements. Um, I don't think it's that worth it. So, <clears throat> the thing that stinks is I still can't get my 88 <laughs> um, anti-air. I'm not sure I need it yet. As much as I would love to have it. So we have four air transports. Two rail and eight C. I hope that 8C doesn't mean what I think it means. Because I have way more than 8 units here. I think... So if I want to go up to the Mars, it's an extra 140. And two more slots. I don't have the slots. Can't do that. Uh, if I take my ground unit and I want to upgrade, this is going to cost an extra slot. So I can't even get the new transport. Um, it's too expensive. Too many slots. So I could always put a tank in reserve and get the slot points back. Um, okay, let's not over paralysis this. So I for sure... I'm going to put an infantry here. Now, here's what's crazy. This is a fort. So, I want my pioneer to take that fort. But obviously, I have forts and stuff down here to take, too, right? This is a fort right here. Um... So there's an infantry, and then this guy is an air unit. So how do I do this? If I were to do... There we go. And then this guy right here is an air unit. I guess I can't embark him yet. So let's go to the undeployed unit still. Let's get my artillery out here. And... So 
So those guys are all on transports. And see, I only have two left. This is brutal. I think... That should be a seaport, so I should be able to leave from there. I mean, I don't have any more deployment zones, right? No. All right, so I'm just going to put my units there. And yeah, of course, we have our planes. So this is interesting. And by the way, I love that upgrade where you get to see all your objectives and the areas around it. Because, I mean, look, you could see what troops they have. Um, that's a wonderful feature. And like you can see here, there's an anti-air um, and you can see here <laughs> what exists. Um, okay, so let's put our fighter there and there. Our bomber there. And then our JU-88, I'm going to put way down here. So let's try that. And end deployment. Oh. Okay, so this was the guy that gets to move twice. Should I give it to a Falschermjager? <laughs> um, I think that my recon, just by nature of how he moves, gets to move twice already. Um, let's give it to this guy. Double move. All right, now let's end deployment. All right, turn one. We got to capture all hexes. Um, every one of these games always changes the way uh, deployments work um, on C and whatnot. So, for example, we have these guys. There are some games where you can land anywhere as long as you could get to the shore. Um, I think that's going to be the case with this one. Let's find out. So here you see we got the Chanel Boot S1. It's just a little destroyer. Then we got another little destroyer over here. Um, they're really just good for, you know, like you can see they have a patrol boat as well. And then we have the Admiral Hipper, which is already inside, able to do some damage to them. And then this is their fort, which you can actually f shoot back. So we got to be careful. Um... And you can see we've even taken some damage with that guy. And here we got the Königsberg. And a 1934. This looks like it's just a destroyer. So let's go ahead and... So I just attack their destroyer there. And... I believe I can support landings and whatnot with your capital ships. You can do stuff like that now. So I'll move this guy in to prevent him from coming out. He did three damage to me. So we're going to go ahead and land. And yes, we are encircled. If we don't get to attack... But just getting landed is good. And I'm going to go ahead and take the city first. And encircle him for a change. Uh, actually, I think it encircles both of them. So that was actually a brilliant move. And I didn't even realize <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, all right, so we get some fighters. Looks like we can maybe dink at their little ship. I want to avoid their anti-aircraft, so there's one there. So let's go dink at that ship. Our JU-88 is awesome against ships, so we could try to... We can't quite reach that ship way up there. I probably should have thought that through a little bit more effectively, but... It's okay. 
Try to take out that fort. Yeah, sure. And I don't know what this little PT boat's going to do for us, but I went ahead and did it. I mean, there is this unexplored zone here, which could be bad news for us. Let's, oh, there it is. Bad news for us right there. Ah. And I moved my JU-88 already, too. Crap. Yeah, we're starting over. That was just a big comedy of errors. But we do know a few things now, and we can maybe do it a little bit better. All right, off we go. We learned. Oh, we're in deployment phase here. Go ahead and end deployment. So we learned we can come in, we can land, and encircle them. Fabulous. And with that being said, I'm going to come around and land this way. So that way I'm not encircled. And look at that, I even get high ground. So that's just already a smarter move all around. This guy can pummel him without even getting attacked back. So for sure we're going to do that. And I'm going to just swing around this way to support my troops. I don't know. I, I read the rule book that they do support. Here, let's see. Entrenchment killer. Suppressing fire. Um, capital ships... Um, do support other ships. I just don't remember which ones. The destroyers, for example, will support a capital ship. If a submarine attacks a capital ship, the destroyer will attack the submarine first, just like if you had an artillery protecting a ground unit. The capital ships, I think, protect your land units. They do shore bombardment. Um, that's why I'm bringing them over next to my land units. And um, anyways... The Navy got really revamped in this game, and it does a whole bunch more than it used to. The submarines also um, submerge now, and they're not always just, you know, one mode. Um, I think the submarines also do some kind of intervention as well. Um, I can't remember what, though. <clears throat> okay. So, we are aware that there's a little stinker in the middle here. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and move my transport in. And yeah, my JU-88 is going to come up. Well, that's a submarine. Can I even hit a submarine? Yeah, I guess I can. And then this one's not even going to make it there. So I don't think I can hit a sub. Dang it. All that reload was for nothing. I guess I could have hit this guy. I'm not sure I want... Well, that's another uh, boat there. I'm actually going to retreat a little bit and just take this guy out. There's fighter. Hmm. There's a fighter. I don't think my tack bomb... Oh, yeah, look, I can get the submarine with my uh, dive bomber. So we're going to for sure try to do that. Holy buckets. Uh... And let's see if I can embark.
Well, that was exactly all of my sea transports. <laughs> all right, well, I was able to do it. And then this guy should be able to embark. But see, this is like, this is my Falsham Yager, right? So we got an anti-air there. And there's an anti-air. Oh, look, see, there's a fighter. I didn't even realize him. So I got to be careful, is what I'm trying to say. Um, wherever I fly, I don't want a fighter to intercept me. And I want to go up and take this Lillehammer. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fly this way. Because they can't... I should be out of their view. Because uh, I flew over, basically, you know, empty territory. So that's what I'm hoping for. And no, I don't want to paradrop. Um, that, that could be famous last words. Because if they can actually see me there, I'll be a little bit upset. There shouldn't be any ability for them to see me there. All right, well, I think that's everything. And, oh, I got one more. And, yeah. All right, well, I'm a little nervous, but let's try it. Yep, so that fort just tried to attack me. Ugh. Hey, that wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Okay. All right, so let's do... I think my ship still needs to just take out their destroyer over there. And then, of course, we're doing mutual self-destruction. Then my engineer. Yeah, look at that. We're going to get some really nice attack. So did you see that? My engineer attacked the city, and their destroyer gave support. And same thing's happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, which I believe should still keep this fort, which only has five more ammo left. It, the fort is now um, uh, encircled still. And then I don't know if I want to risk going straight to there, but I will just move two spaces. Oh, I could have done it. Dang it. See, this is one of those cases where the undo works, right? <laughs> so I can go up and take that spot. Oh, and then you can see there's two more units here uh, ready to attack us. But I'm feeling good. We got a supply point and uh, I'm holding a city. And I'm doing it with a pioneer, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I do want to eventually move this unit in to uh, basically bombard those guys. So far, I'm happy with uh, the way Bergen's going. And in fact, uh, Bergen's toast. They're done. Okay, this little fort is bad. I wish I could see what's his range. Let's click on his unit details. His range is three. So one, two, three. So he was able to hit these two units. Uh, let's see if I can get landed here. I can. So this is my tank. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and land my tank right there. Move him inland. Can I attack? No, I cannot. But just being able to land is a blessing. Oh, that was my artillery. Of course he went after my artillery. This is another artillery, so I'm going to move him further up and land him there. And I'm going to move my artillery away. So I've got to make room for my other units. This is infantry, so I'm going to just land him there. Oh, I got them encircled. Perfect. Uh, a tank. Perfect. Let's get up on the high ground and then circle him. I'm liking this, Steve. This. 
should also be high ground. Uh, tank, and what are you? Another tank. That's right, I don't have much infantry, so I am going to have to take these cities with tanks and bombers, basically. So I'm going to have to do that, and then of course my, um, my bombers can take him out. I do like that option. So JU-88, really good against Navy. And then my fighter is going to go up against their fighter. Done. All right, and then uh, this bomber here, I could go after their sub. Although their sub is not much of a threat anymore. Everybody's landed. So I'm more interested in this nonsense. Uh, I want to use them to help take this area, but I got to use my tanks next turn to take out that anti-air. And then my, my bomber is basically going to be used to help the tanks over here. But I could take him out, and that's actually going to be helpful. And look at that. There's another another ship. little PT boats. So let's try this. That wasn't good for us. He's definitely doing more damage to us than we're doing to him. This fort did some serious damage to me. We at least took out their boat. I'm actually going to back all the way out just because I don't want to lose that ship. Not that it matters. It's not like it's a core ship. Um, I don't think there's a way for us to purchase ships, is there? No. That would have been cool. Okay, everybody's landed. All that's done. Oh, our Fashimaker. Okay, so what do we want to do with these guys? So we successfully avoided their detection, and their fighter didn't come and shoot us down. Um, as you can see, there's no anti-air up here. And then all these little cities, like you see here, here, and here, they probably have troops on them, but they might not all have troops on them. So what I think... Then you have to also be mindful of supply zones. Like, the supply zone for Oslo is all the way down here. Lilyhammer can get encircled. So this is my core unit. And I'm going to take him to here. And yeah, we're going to... Let's see if we can take this city. Look at that! Awesome. Then we're even going to move up and take high ground on Lilyhammer. Oh my gosh. I'm. This is actually exciting. Let's go up and do this. Take this one. Oh, we blew a little off course. But I'm still going to come back and take this. And then this guy. Oh, I can't quite get high enough. But we'll go ahead and fly to here. Try to land up there. We blew a little off course. I get the high ground. <clears throat> I don't... They must be able to... Yeah, they can take supply straight back this way and then come down. I wish there was a supply view mode you can put in. So you can see like how that city's still getting supply. But I think it's... They're going through here and then through there. And then from there they could just, you know, trickle on down until they get to here. And right there is another fighter. So it's a good thing I landed. Uh, you don't want to be stuck up in the air when those guys discover you. All right, I am generally happy with this round. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's no big deal. That's a bigger deal. 
Oh my gosh, they did seven damage to us? Well, the sub's at least gone. They got a lot of troops just sitting out in the middle of the woods. That hurt. So it's raining this turn. This is the first time weather's taken effect. Oh my gosh, check that out. You can see the little drops hitting the ground. That's pretty cool. So uh, you can see here, you can always hover over it to see what the effects are, but the biggest effect is that um, the planes can't do anything this round. And um, the ground state is dry, so it has to rain several days before it turns into mud. And then mud's going to have an effect on us once it turns into mud. So um, I don't know, like the forecast is for tomorrow to be clear. So we might not, you know, have to deal with mud, but um, it's possible. All right, so I don't know if I have to take this fort out or not. I mean, I know this fort's here, but I don't think it's an objective. It says capture the victory hexes. That, of course, is our mission overview, and there are six of them. So this was one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these supply points, they're just supply points. That green circle there is a supply point, but it's not an actual objective. Interesting. Same with this fort here. It's a supply point, but not an objective. Okay. So this fort, I don't even need to take it. We can just move. So the whole reason for doing going up into the mountains here would be to go after their artillery. And I don't know if I have enough movement points to get in there. This would be one, two, three, four, but it'd be along the road. How many movement points do I have? Uh, where are you? Movement type, movement three. Um, does the road only do half movement? It's clear terrain. But here you go, prestige per turn, it tells you right there. So like for example, if I took that fort, it doesn't give me anything. What if I took Lillehammer? See, I get zero prestige per turn. So some of these can give you per turn prestige, interesting. Okay, um, so this would be a great turn to heal my planes if I wanted to, or to rebase them. None of those, of course, are happening here. Um, I do think Oslo is going to need some help. But for now, I'm going to come in and take out that Navy unit. And I'm pretty sure that fort's going to finish me off over here. So I'm going to do whatever damage I can before he does. Uh, and yeah, look at this. This tank's going to be able to do some good work on... I'm going to move him out of the way. Move him in. And we just took an airbase. Awesome. And yeah, Ugh. that's not going to be fun. I'm going to wait on that. This can do some good suppression. I'm going to go ahead and suppress that one. I probably should have checked the odds first.
This isn't bad though. Uh, it probably would have been nice to have one of my transports come and take that fuel supply right there. That was bad on my part. Um, interesting. I'm not going to be able to finish this guy off. And in fact, he sunk me. <laughs> um... I think I want to come in. I just want to abandon those guys. Those guys are trash. Uh, you know what? I could suppress him, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off that ship. So at least that way he won't be harassing anybody. I'm concerned I don't have enough troops to take Oslo. Um, this guy's down to two. I can force march him. Uh, he's basically lost. I'm not going to win with this guy. Um, the best I can do is just that. So let's try to take out some artillery. And see, like, that artillery is going to support and really do a lot of damage to me here. The whole point of this is I wanted all three guys to take Lillehammer. I didn't realize I was going to get surrounded so badly. Um, I'm definitely going to lose him. I definitely also hurt that artillery, but... Yeah, as you can see, I'm not going to do much damage to either of them. I'm going to do a lot of damage to myself, so I'm going to just wait. And let myself entrench some more. Also, uh, some of the numbers are going to be worse because of the rain. Um, so right here, it says um, planes can't move or attack, but planes aren't the only ones that are affected. Spotting of ground units is halved, and they also become less accurate in hand-to-hand -hand combat and can no longer benefit from high initiative ratings. Initiative is severely capped, and then you also get less supply. So uh, overall, you're just, your battle outcomes are going to be a lot worse in the rain. Okay, I think I'm going to... I'm so nervous about this mission. I'm going to go ahead and hit end turn. Yeah, that's me being toasted right there. I'm going to get toasted there, too. All right, well, now we got the visibility we need to see everything. So I can go ahead and attack that artillery, which I did. Going to get up on the high ground, attack the artillery some more. I'm going to get into this city. I am not going to attack. Those are awful odds, but I am going to at least entrench. It's artillery you. Yeah, there's no, um, you can't attack the fort or anything with these little PT boats. But I do have, like, that fort is just annoying. But I need to get him first. And yeah, I do have him... Let's help out here. Then let's start moving that way to help those guys. Yeah, that's much better odds. Look at that. We got him retreating. And he's encircled. I'm going to go ahead and finish that infantry off. Should be an overrun. It was not. Dang it. He's down to just one ammo. So he's going to come down. He's going to be destroyed pretty soon. I think if I attack him with my plane, I'll get him down to zero ammo. No. 
Um, can't quite reach their fighter up there. I can't do anything to the fort. I'm going to attack the fort anyways. Then this guy can attack the fort. Oh, I could have attacked him. Yeah, let's do that. Suppress some more. 3-2, two, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I, I don't have a choice. I mean, it's three tanks against infantry, so I'm going to have to take the losses. And just knowing that I was able to do a triple attack like that. Yeah, look at that. I got him to surrender. That was awesome. So we took that city. This fort's going to just harass us the whole time, but that means I can move... My artillery, which is good. Also, next turn, I'll be able to move out of the range of this fort. I, one thing I wish is if when I click on this fort, I wish it would have like, it would show like the, the hexes around it that it has range to. Maybe there's a way I can turn that on in the options. Um, but uh, anyways, <sighs> where else we got? up here. See, this guy's only got four. It is letting me replace units. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back up to 11 with him. And... Uh, oh, I'm encircled. Dang it. Not what I wanted to do. That's okay. I think that's everything. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. We knew that was going to happen. Okay, it could have been worse. Let's get... It's raining again. And I think what I want to try to do is encircle, but obviously the tanks can't always... Um... So that's two damage. Oh, that's right. I can't do anything with my planes this round. Now, what I could do is I could come up here and help bombard. And I think that is what I'm going to have to do. And... So, let's see what the recon will reveal. That's not too bad. This is a artillery. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really weak up here. This, yep, gonna take out their artillery. That got me encircled. Man, my odds of attacking this guy are so poor. I guess it didn't help that I moved my pioneers forward. All right, up here. So my units were destroyed. That upsets me so much. I had three Falschermjagers and they were able to wipe me out. That... So my next lesson, like if we were to redo this mission, 
don't try to take Lillehammer like this. Take your Falschemjagers, land them over here. You know, basically use them to take Oslo. Um, the rest of the, or use them to take Stavanger, you know, over here. Um, you know, send one artillery along with them. And uh, they could easily, you know, take this and, um, and then use the rest of your units to go north to Lillehammer. Um, I definitely did this wrong, but that's part of, you know, the learning here. <clears throat> um, ah, disappointing. Yeah, that's all I can do. All right, that's getting scary. Also scary. Don't know what he was doing there. <clears throat> okay, um. That helped. That also helped. I have to just be willing to get reinforcements when I can on this mission. I'll go up, I'll take that little city this fort is annoying. That little PT boat's also annoying. Uh, I forgot. Dang it, I forgot to move this infantry last round. So I think I can go here and unload. No. Damn it. That's even worse. So that means I need to move up to help support that infantry. Suppress that guy. Start taking out that fort. Oh, I do have a bomber here who can do some damage. Fighter one can't quite make it. Can at least damage that boat. <clears throat> I don't think rebasing is going to help me. At least protect my infantry and the transport truck there. Well, I could suppress here. That artillery is going to reheal himself. So let's try it. Because I need to make a dent. Yeah, that hurt. And then this guy here. Uh, I feel like I just don't have enough of everything. That could have been a lot worse. That was a lot worse. All right. I 
Hey, we overran something. Undo. Let's get some replacements. Okay. Take out that stupid little ship. We have all kinds of stuff we can do with this artillery here. I don't think Oslo's are a priority at the moment. That artillery is. So I'm going to move in and I'm going to wreck that artillery as best as I can. This guy needs to heal. And then I know that that infantry is going to hurt me, but I'm just going to protect my, my interests. Fighter can't quite reach their fighter. So we're going to go and hit him. Uh, the bomber. Let's reduce that fort a bit. This really can't do anything, can it? We can attack that fort. That's all we can do. And then this guy doesn't have enough movement either. So I'm going to rebase him to Christian Sand. And oh yeah, you. You need reinforcements bad. So they never got reinforcements for their artillery. So I'm going to keep the pressure on you. And let's attack. And move that further in. As for this guy up here, you know, I'm basically at a point where um, I just want to stay alive. He's not doing much, is he? All right, end turn. Yeah, that fort does a number on my ship. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, that did a number two. All right, I think we're going to be able to wreck some stuff here. And then we're going to wreck you. Come in. Hopefully finish you off. Nope. We got him damaged pretty bad. Okay. So. I think this side is as good as done. You know, we can come in. We can bomb. Force suppression was really good. The artillery needs to move closer. We can get him encircled in a way, although he's a supply point, so he's not going to ever truly be encircled. As you can see, that's suicide, so we're not going to quite attack him yet. And then I need to um, skedaddle. Go up. Go help take Oslo. So we got a bomber here. I can keep worrying about that fort, or I can... That's the only place he can actually reach. Apologies, I have to sneeze. Okay. See, I don't think rebasing over here is going to help me. I got to get this airport up here. 
That's my issue. And I moved in so I could do some serious damage, but this guy actually crunched me hard. Oh, that's an airbase right there. I just took an airbase. And yeah, I need reinforcements bad. Encircle you, punk. All right, that didn't go well. I would like to take out that artillery. They're going to be encircled, I think, if I move in there. Maybe not. <laughs> My gosh! I'm going to lose that infantry, aren't I? They didn't attack me for some reason. That infantry right there did not attack me. He could have finished me off. That fort is annoying. So let's keep bombing him. That dicky little ship is now gone. Alright, so see this? This tank. Oh, that he must be out of ammo or something. Nope, he's not out of ammo. He's suppressed. Ah. All right, I'm gonna try, uh, we gotta take out this. There we go. And I'm gonna move him forward to protect my infantry a little better. And what can our fighters, our fighters can come up and harass this guy. And this one might even be able to... Nope. One short. Dang it. <laughs> hmm. Now, our JU-88 here, we're going to need him to help us take this. Because attacking this city with two tanks is going to be really hard. So... They have four suppression. Ugh, look at that. This is bad. We did one damage to him. Hmm. We finally got rid of him, and Oslo is finally going to get some reinforcements here. And I probably could have gotten on a railroad. I don't. Yeah, I probably could have. So, anyways, um, I guess not the worst thing in the world. And turn. <laughs> I got my ship. Ay, ay, ay. I forgot to move that tank. This tank needs to move. 
And look at that. I am out of prestige, even. Alright, we suppress two. Suppress two more. Getting bad. If I can take this airbase, I can make that plane go away. So let's try for that. Also, my um, since I'm recon, I can uh, take this down here. That's my goal. So let's try. I know I'm encircled right now, but that should be okay. And this stupid thing. Not even gonna... There we go. There we go. So do I rebase up here? Yeah, why not? What's interesting is I can attack. That was awesome. <laughs> if this one would have been somewhere else, I could have attacked as well. <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Okay, I need to help out with Lillehammer. So this guy's going to go up north. And this guy is going to go here. We are looking in good shape over here. I am down to almost zero prestige, but... Ooh, that's not good. No! Oh, come on. All right, I got to load, folks. Let's do the end of our last turn. Oh, that was brutal. So I think... Let's just move him away one step. See if that helps. And then this guy... We can move to help Stavanger, and I should have thought of that earlier. So let's see if this works out any better. Much better. Okay, let's get this guy out of dodge. And that's going to help, because we just suppressed by three. He even killed a unit. That can suppress one more, that's four. So this unit right now is four suppression out of six. Look at that, he's going to surrender. Well done. Got it. 150 prestige, let's get out of dodge. Uh, yep. Get rid of that annoying guy. So my plan to come down here didn't quite work. But that's working. And I think I'm going to rebase... Now we're gonna. 
that fighter as good as toast. Get our tank in. Obviously our recon unit had some retreating to do. Uh, there went all of our, uh, our bonuses. Let's see what we can do about taking out Oslo. That was a well done attack on Oslo. This tank can keep moving. Again, I'm not paying attention. There are railroads here, starting in Christian Sand. Um, this guy was supposed to reinforce. That's not good. We're going to move this way and come around the other side. All right. And turn, I believe. All right, that was a good outcome. That was okay. Also okay. Okay. All right, so if I go here, I'm supposed to be able to embark on a train. Uh, let's keep trying to take this guy out. I wonder why, um, what the red line means. I'm um, like, did you see how he had like a red line around him? These red dotted lines. Is he, he's not running out of fuel. Ammo. This guy had it too. See the little red line? But he does not. Oh, is it cloudy weather? Wonder what the deal is with that. All right, so we got some suppression in. Let's move our tank up. This guy should be done. Take Oslo, get some nice buku bucks. Keep going. We finally encircled this guy. Yep. All right. I would like to get up here as fast as I can. Obviously, there's points to take along the way. Um, I'm just going to move in and finish off units. He can still move. Oh, yeah. So we can do that with him. We still have our bomber. And yeah, now we can come up and harass these guys. And the fighters can do the same. Good, we eliminated them. Let's move him up. Help 
that up there. This guy can move. I think that's everybody. Well, he still has movement points. No, he doesn't. Ah, we lost the city. <laughs> So that guy still has the red... Okay, here you go. See, we can mount. So now we're on the train here. And I believe we can get off right there. So you have to have an unspent attack action. So if I go here can put him on the train as well. Yeah, pretty neat. This guy is completely suppressed. But we're going to go ahead and take that fuel point and then come back. Take him out. We couldn't. Let's get Lillehammer encircled. That helps. Let's just get some reinforcements. And then because of him. Yeah. Take another spot. Move the tank up. Because we're going to basically surround those guys and pincer them. This tank can at least attack there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We're going to get the city back. I'm down with that. And yeah, we still have attacks from these guys. Should have done that earlier. Okay. I think that's pretty well done. So we can move to there. And in turn? Yeah. Well, it's some pretty decent damage to me. Okay, now I'm nervous. No. 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 All right, we got to reload again, folks. Sorry about this. I know this is a little, but you can't. You can't let your tank get lost. So what I'm going to do is just do that. So then let's end turn. suppression was pretty high for that spot. I think I forgot to move the ship last turn, but that's okay. It's raining. Dang it. He's suppressed, so he can't do anything. Just move him up there. gets him out of range of 
that nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. And then move. And then move. I'm going to take this train. Oh, can I really go all the way to there? Oh my gosh, and I even took the... That's crazy. Well then, let's go take this one then. Okay, Railroad's pretty cool in this game. Why, when, why can't I attack him? Oh, he had to use his attack to unload. So we can embark. We can go all the way. Look at this. I can choose to go all the way to there. <laughs> um, well, we might as well go That's actually quite awesome. Um, can't do anything with the planes. So, it's just our ground units. This guy is pretty damaged, but this one's not. I'm gonna encircle the crap out of people. I would like not to reinforce him, but this guy's got 13 strength. I'm really concerned about that. Or maybe I can win the mission if I... I am. I'm going to win the mission here. As soon as I take that. Okay, well, I at least one. I had to reload a few times. Um, I think... Unless you're, like, an expert and have the map memorized, you are going to have to reload in this game. Um, but I cannot tell you enough how much fun I'm having. Um, this is more fun than a board game to me in some respects. Be well, because it is a board game. It's just a board game on the PC. Um, I... Like, when it comes to war games, this is what I love. I also have a couple other ones I love. Um, uh, the Order of Battle is one that I really play a lot. Um, that strategic mind game, The Pacific, that I showed you on a different video series. Um, I really love that one. Um, so, anyways, uh, there you have it. We just finished uh, Norway. And, um, as always, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, between missions and then I need to save and think about things like dinner and going to the bathroom and all those things you ignore while you're engrossed in the game so um, it is what day is it March 19th today is we are smack dab in the middle of Corona City so for all of you worldwide stay healthy stay safe and as always stay awesome thank you